Thank you Food Pacific Manufacturing Journal for this opportunity to share with your audience my impressions of the Philippine food and beverage industry. I am Dr. Elaine Barazon and I had been a food manufacturing consultant for the past 11 years. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, the growth rate of exports for processed food and beverage is 14.6% from 2016 to 2017. The local food and beverage industry, specifically the small and medium enterprises, still has a lot to improve in terms of quality and safety in order to become more competitive and be able to enter the international market. They have to improve on their product's profile, such as appearance, texture, and taste. Packaging is also very important. It has to be attractive to their target market and should be able to protect the life of their product. They have to develop their unique uh, selling point and clearly establish their brand. The most common problems encountered by the small and medium food enterprises is understanding and complying with regulatory requirements and consistent implementation of food safety practices. Consistent implementation of food safety practices by the company's employees would need an understanding of the principles of food safety, continuous training, and employee commitment. Another challenge is the increasing competition among the industry players. New and cheap food products continuously emerge plus the entry of imported food products. Thus, there is a need for these companies to continuously innovate, reduce production costs, and improve efficiency for their price and quality to be more competitive. These enterprises should also create a culture of quality along their supply chain. Supply chain integration is very important. The players along the chain should help each other in terms of trainings, technical assistance, and implementation of best practices. They should also be able to spot the right technical people who can guide them correctly to be able to compete in terms of price, quality, and safety. Second, they have to effectively and efficiently produce goods according to safety and quality standards. These can be achieved by managing and tracking non-conformances, managing risks along the supply chain, training and professionalization of employees, enforcing standardized procedures, monitoring critical processes, and ensuring compliance with government regulation and standards. It is also necessary that continuous innovation be done for them to remain competitive.